Case it be, it's your girl Justina Valentine here with my Cuginos on Growing Up Italian. We about to get into it. Look at the food they brought out for me. It's beautiful. A little Sunday dinner. Let's go. We about to get into it. Who got the most sauce? We got the most you got sauce. The most you ready, cuz? I got the sauce. Let's go. You Let's got the go. Sauce? Listen, huh? you, you jumped it better than I would have. I love it. What, what off, episode yeah. number is this, first of all? Because this is epic. This is going to be 194. 194? 197. 197? 197? Come on, cuz. 197. Huh? Listen, I got I to gotta be honest here. I've met a lot of people. You are by far one of the most genuine and supportive Oh, a stop. Lot of Keep I've going. Met. We got a lot more time. <laughs> yeah, we, got, we, got, we got a lot more. No, I but, appreciate that. But what you, what you guys do for the culture, because it's not, you know, I was going to say it's not many pages, but I can't even really think of another page that rivals your guys, you know, page and your presence on Instagram. So when I found your page and I, I don't remember how I saw it, mm-hmm. but I was like, oh, I'm in love with them. I sent you guys to everyone. I sent yeah, you guys to my family. I sent yeah. you guys to Joan. And I was like, I just love their page. It's so relatable. So I, I'm proud of you guys. And behalf on on behalf of all Italians, mm-hmm. I thank y'all. No, thank it's you. Amazing. We appreciate yeah. you. I mean, those are nice words of wisdom. We appreciate it. Yeah, and of obviously, course. you know, I feel like you're one of the greatest inspirations in the Italian American culture we have right now. Thank you. So we couldn't be more proud of you and what you're thank doing. Thank you so much. And a lot of stuff coming on the way. Like you, like Rock said, you rep the Italian American culture a lot in your skits and in your comedy. And I feel after this conversation we just had and we're about to have, we're going to show you why you're a force to be reckoned with oh, yeah. Yeah. when it comes yeah. to Italian Americans. But I will say when we met, it was, it was love right away. Love when we met, <laughs> Soprano's gone. Yes, Soprano's you, gone. you know, yes. we, we were cracking jokes and your manager is the best. Joan shouts to her. Jody. We right call her Joni Soprano. Pick, like, you know, it's just good energy. But for everybody that's listening, they're going to learn a little bit more about you. And if yes. you never heard of Justina, you're going to learn Are a little bit dumb? more. Are you dumb? You'll learn a little Stuna. bit. Huh? So, yeah, no, we're going to put them on whoever doesn't you're, know. You're but Jersey girl, right? Jersey, yes. Jersey, born tell. and raised in Jersey, all right? But you know what I always say? I feel like Jersey and especially, you guys are both from Brooklyn, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I we're feel from like, here. Yeah, I feel like especially the Italians, Jersey and Brooklyn have a lot just in common. In common, yeah, yeah. from just the slang and. I mean, we're the 20 minutes we away. Down. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's like we really are just cousins. And you never know. Yeah, but. We, we, we could be cousins. Because mm-hmm. what part of Italy are you guys from? We're from Salerno. What part are you from? I was oh, going to ask you that. Okay, Sicily and Naples. Oh, we're close. Yeah, so we're close. So, yeah, we're right we, in the middle of the two. Yeah, we're Paisan. I mean, we're definitely Paisan. You never know. We're yeah, that, that's, what I, that's what I think for sure. And I love that you said I am repping. Um, for Italians in the culture because I do it a lot even mm-hmm. on Wild and Out like yeah. I've done a bunch of skits there was one skit I did that was so good that didn't make the cut I think it was like a little dirty but uh, I might try to like <laughs> remix it was it a bacala it. joke? So, you, love the, you said I three love bacala jokes bacala joke. <laughs> I've, I've said seven bacala jokes since I've been in the building but <laughs> actually the funny part is yes mm-hmm. slightly it was so I think it was a little too dirty but I might remix it and try to use it again mm-hmm. um but yeah, I'm always doing like, you know, little Italian skits on, on Wild and Out and on my pages. And um, yeah, I love that we are starting to have more of that representation just mm-hmm. for like our generation. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, you know, shout to Jersey Shore. I feel like they did a like lot. Vinny, for Vinny did a lot. Yeah, shout, shout to there. Vinny and Paulie and Slinky and Wow mm-hmm. and um, Mike and Ronnie and Sammy and Angelina, all of them. Um, they definitely did a lot, I feel like, for our generation, for the Italians, but we got to keep putting on. Mm-hmm. What weird. is it about being Italian that makes you so proud, though? I just feel like our swag, like, we just got the sauce. We got the gravy. Literally, like for, literally. No, literally. I just feel like Italians have that extra dip of swag. We just mm-hmm. got that mojo, that vibe that is, you can't compare to it. Mm-hmm. You know, you just can't compare to it. Even, you know... Every single person was a Sopranos fan. It didn't matter what, you know, mm-hmm. culture you were. It didn't matter your ethnicity. It didn't matter. Like, everyone saw the Sopranos and, you know, all the popular representations throughout the years, the movies, the shows, and was like, damn, like, the Italians, like, they bad. Mm-hmm. You know? So I just feel like 
Italians are badass. And we're mm-hmm. also at the same time, we're crazy, we're loud, we're this, we're that, but we're also super genuine, we're super real, and we're just loving. Like, we, yeah. we love hard. Like, you know? family comes first. Like, yes. Even though The Sopranos is a show about, like, a mobster, you know, a boss... He also shows like what it is to be a family man and For love sure. your your kids, love your family. Yeah. So even like his mother was so messed up to him, crazy. But he was always like there for her. Yeah. yeah. No, and same with his sure. uncle, like so. No matter like, what, you know, no matter what, your family. Blood thicker than water. What was cra- what was crazy too with his mom was finding out that she actually died early and they had to... Redo. Yeah, the yeah, CGI. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because CGI back then wasn't... Wasn't good. They were ahead of their time. Was they were ahead yeah, of their time, that Yeah, show. so even going back and watching that, I'm like, wow, they, you know, CGI this in. But they did a good job. Yeah, they did a good job. you know? Yeah. yeah, I remember, like, I don't... When I was watching, I was kind of young, so I didn't watch, like, the thing from start to finish. I rewatched same, later on. Yeah. But when she passed away, I remember, like... It on the news and everything, and watching that as a kid, and I was like, "You were like what?" I like I couldn't even tell. Yeah, no, for sure. I used to go to my aunt's and watch it because um, we didn't have HBO, so I would like go with one of my little boyfriends and like go in my aunt's basement and and watch it. But I definitely, like you said, I didn't see all the episodes. Mm-hmm. So obviously, when I got older, I'm like, "No, nah, no, nah, I need to watch the whole thing," yeah, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. start to finish. And then shout out to them too because they just did the movie. Yep, which was dope. Which I'm hoping it's gonna Many be. Huh? Yeah, the Many Saints yeah, of yeah. New York. I wasn't yeah. like huge fan. They could have done a little better. You know what it was? Um, I think that they were leading up to do like a second part, and maybe they could have even possibly made it a series. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, that's what they should have done. Been in parts, yeah. But I went the night they did the uh, premiere in New mm-hmm. York, so I'm excited to see what they do. Mm-hmm. You know, with the with the next one. I'm gonna I'm gonna say one thing before you know we dive in. Being that you're from Jersey, you said we're alike, right? Yeah. But there's one thing we're different in. I can't understand the pork roll thing. I knew you. Can you say can it, you explain it, it? it or tail hand? Yeah, like, what, what what is what's like? Is it what is it like? I, mean, I have no idea. You know what it is, and I think like Jersey split on that too. Like South Jersey and North Jersey. Is there a like, Central Jersey? Because a lot of Jersey people say that too. There, there is. I mean, I'm in North Jersey. North Jersey mm-hmm. to me is like, you know, Newark, the oranges. Okay. Okay. And, uh, Okay. You know, and then Central Jersey to me is like once you get into like Rawway um, and that whole area. And then like South Jersey is like Jersey Shore. Shore. Yeah, but some people who are in. Don't I mean, you yeah, know I mean, yeah, I mean, you, I, I mean, yeah. you know, if you're Italian or you're from Jersey, like, you know, what I mean, we, we pump our fists, not our gas. You, you, you have to pump your own gas. Yeah. A tragedy. I never, I never no, heard that a before. tragedy. And what was so crazy, when I when I first started touring, you know what I mean? When we, we first started going on the road and doing warp tour and just like traveling across the country, it's like, oh, motherfuckers really have to pump their gas in every state. Except but Jersey. Jersey. What a luxury. But that's crazy. What a luxury. Yeah, in mean, New York, I'll go to a gas station that pumps the gas for me and give the $2 tip. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, Especially this time of year. It. Like Salerno does it. Yeah, you know? winter time, so it's so worth it. Yeah. A little like, tip. Let who wants pump. a, you know, just a tip. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Hey, 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 So yo. we, we definitely say, t- <laughs> we, hey, yo, bing bong. Shout out to my boy Nems. Shout out to Nems. Um, so yeah, we say Taylor Ham mm-hmm. um, in North Jersey, but you guys probably say, so you say pork roll? No, we no, don't it's say it. We say like, what, it's a ham, egg, and cheese though? Well, Taylor Ham. Taylor. Nah, it's ham, cheese. You're like you're like that ham ain't fucking Taylor. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's just, just it's, deli ham, it's you know. Taylor ham. But I, I'm pretty sure South Jersey calls it a pork roll. Pork roll. That's like a like a South and maybe Central thing. But you know, um, to me, like I mean, I love all of Jersey, but North Jersey is just like lit. We're right next to New York, and yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. It's where many saints in New York was shot, yeah. you know, obviously. Let me city. mention one thing, Jersey, New York. Not even to get on this topic too yeah. much, but I, I don't know if we spoke about this in the past or what, but mm-hmm. do you call it sauce or gravy? I got to know this one. Well, I call it both. I mean, traditionally gravy, like my grandfather always okay. said, like, you know, I'm cooking the gravy yeah, on yeah. Sunday. So, but I don't think it's wrong, like, to call it sauce because I do love the word sauce. Like, I use it in a lot of my songs. Like, I'm saucy. <laughs> um, meaning, you know, it's like yeah, a, yeah. a double yeah. meaning for it, but traditionally like gravy like right. that's what you know my grandparents and and all of them said what are you i'm sure you say gravy we too. Say sauce. No, no, we say sauce. oh you say sauce, sauce. Just, okay just look, look right there real quick it's sauce not gravy that's hilarious <laughs> yeah. see now nah, like, it's cool though it's cool 
<laughs> nah, I mean, maybe maybe that's a Jersey thing, but like yeah, the that's old generations, asked. they definitely said, yeah, yeah. It's they the definitely older, said great. It's the older generations yes. like that were here before the yeah. war. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. Grand, my grandparents only called it... Um, gravy but for me obviously the word sauce is just so fire so i obviously use mm-hmm. sauce more but, you know mm-hmm. i respect the elders if it's, Listen, it's gravy it is. to them is gravy yeah, you know yeah. it's all gravy baby so you're you're a three-headed monster you sing you act and you do comedy oh, i thought you're talking about these things no, <laughs> no, no, no. Jeez. That's, that's a whole <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation <laughs> but save that for the only thing just I, on I don't. <laughs> no but i'm curious to what came first like Oh, Growing yeah. up, yeah. did question. you want to sing first? Did you want to act first? Oh, yeah. You, simple, were you the class clown? Simple answer to that. It was definitely music. Music was first. Mm-hmm. And um, it's funny because I always say, like, sometimes God will give you what you need, not what you want. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it was always music for me. I, I sang, I rapped, I wrote, you know, I write poetry, everything. And so when I was on my grind... I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to have a a hit song and this and that. And, you know, trying to break into the industry. And, you know, I think for the type of music I make and and how I look, I was was coming to a lot of just, like, closed doors. You know? Mm -hmm. I was getting a lot of closed doors. Didn't matter how good I was, how raw I was. To think about it, you're, like, one of the only Italian-American female hip-hop artists. And she's probably the biggest... Italian American hip hop artist because I In know that genre for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I so, can't really. Salute to you. Thank you so much. No, I yeah. appreciate. It. I think Russ might be Italian. Well, yeah, Russ. Oh, yeah, shout out yeah. to Russ but, too. Yeah, but yeah, you know, for probably for females, but um, but yeah, so that was what I really wanted to to be an artist and and have the hit singles and have that music career. Mm-hmm. But it was my music roots and my talent in music and really my freestyle ability mm-hmm. that got me. On TV, like Wild and Out, kind of just how it happened, just kind of fell in my lap. I wasn't mm-hmm. looking to be on TV. Not that I didn't want to be mm-hmm. in TV. I had done like some extra work and stuff like that. You know, when you're on your grind, you do odds and ends. I'm bartending. Just to get the I'm bag. Doing, yeah, yeah get the I'm bag. doing background work. I'm selling everything but my asshole. I mean, maybe you know, <laughs> on a bad Listen, week, you never know. The prices run. You know, doing something a little strange, a little bit of change. <laughs> Everyone has a number, but um. So, you know, what happened was I was actually on set shooting a music video. It was 2015, and my boy, Tony O'Skit, shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on set. We know, yeah. Yeah, he was on set with me, and um, he's a really good beatboxer. So he was beatboxing, and I was freestyling. And he was like, yo, he's like, you're so crazy off the top. He's like, yo, you have to audition for this show I'm going for. You would be perfect. So I'm like, oh, what show? He's like, wilding out. I'm like, oh, dope. So he connected. It It wasn't out yet? No, it was. No, oh, it was. Wild and Out had seasons. been out for years. Yeah, I'm feeling like it. Yeah, and then they took a little break, and then they came back, I think, around, like, maybe 2013 or something like that. So it was 2015 when I auditioned, and, you know, we sent the producers all um, tapes of me freestyling, like, real freestyling, being at mm-hmm. a show, getting words from people, mm-hmm. being on a radio station, getting words, whatever. Mm-hmm. So they invited me to audition, and long story short, I made it, and... It was just crazy that, you know, now my, my platform and and everything I have, which I'm so grateful for, it's all from TV. And now TV... And it helped build your, build your fan base. Well, TV now is my main thing. Like, you right. know, TV, like acting, film, all that, that's my main thing. And I still love music and I continue to make it because I'm good at it and it's easy for me and it, it's a passion of mine, but it was... It was not what I was originally going for. So to answer your question, like what came first, it was definitely the music. And, you know, my, my talent in that, I think like, although it was it was really hard for me to get in that door, somehow I managed to like creep, I managed to creep in this little door that was right next to it. Mm-hmm. And now I get to do both, which is a blessing. And, you know, speaking of that, um, I'm doing my own soundtrack for a movie I'm getting ready to film. Oh, you know what I mean. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Now I only come out to do the music when it's for a soundtrack. Mm. Now I'm, I'm playing, but I'm saying, uh, yeah. So <laughs> the movie is a script that Joan and I wrote. Mm-hmm. It's fire. Uh, I want to tell you the title so bad, but I'm not going to tell you yet. But I'll tell you next time. <laughs> is there a little Italian American culture? So, in it? so it's an Italian mm-hmm. Christmas movie, mm-hmm. and I definitely need you guys for like a little, you know, 
little cameo. You already know. For, love, the, for of the course, culture. Of course. Consider it done. My pleasure. Yeah. So it's definitely going to be fire, and it's, you know, you're going to see a lot of things in the movie that you're used to mm-hmm. for Christmas. You a know? little bacala, a maybe. Little you know? ba- a little bacala, <laughs> maybe seven of them, you know? <laughs> but you're going to see a lot of stuff, and um, it's going to be some really funny characters that are probably going to remind you of, of people you have in your own family. And I think it's going to be something really cool because when we were looking at Christmas movies, and a Christmas movie is such a great thing. I mean, Home Alone, every year. Classic. We got to watch the other guy, the other kid get his eye, you're going to shoot your eye out and get his tongue stuck to the pole every year. Oh, yeah. The Grinch, you know, lose entirely. We got to watch every year. <laughs> now Elf, He's Elf too. Yeah, so it's like, you know, if you hit with a nice Christmas movie, it's nice. Mm-hmm. You get yeah. the sack from Santa every year. We don't really have an Italian Christmas yeah. movie. I was just going to say nothing, that. Italian American Christmas movie. I commend movie. you so much for even having this as a thought. Thank like, you. you well, know, we're about to have one, so. Yeah. Listen, make it happen. We'll do whatever you need. Yeah. But love it. Like, like Sabino said, we don't have something like this. So. Yeah. It's going to be For you to put on, fun. it just proves that you're always trying to put on the culture. Like, yeah. No, I, I definitely am. And I'm, you know, I'm super, super proud of my heritage. And um, I think, like... Everyone's diversity is what makes them interesting and just, you know, that's just what makes the world go round. So when we saw there wasn't really an uh, Italian Christmas movie, we were like, okay. It's time. We, we got to fill this void. And it's, it's going to be, the movie's going to be fun. I mean, you'll see it. It's not like a serious, like, romantic comedy. A couple uh, funny yeah, characters I mean, it's, in it's there. It's not a romantic movie. It's like, it's more comedy, but also, you know, we got to get down to it. You're going to learn a right. lesson. A lot of funny characters in there. A lot of my friends are going to be in there. So is this going to be your next album too? Like the the soundtrack for that? Because you released the album maybe right before... 2020. Yes. So like it literally, like, it was like a year ago. It was December 2020. Yeah. Um, I think throughout the year, I might just sprinkle like... A couple drop singles. A few tra- yeah, yeah, drop a few singles mm-hmm. here and there. Because I like to give the people the sounds to do the TikToks too. I dropped mm-hmm. a single like... Maybe two or three months ago, cool. Yeah. Take that pic. Shout mm-hmm. to Low Pick. He did the um, cover Take art for it. And ca- um, I heard the calendars are flying like hotcakes. Who buys calendars? I anymore? couldn't hold on to them. Well, you know what it is about the calendar that makes it dope is not only do you get thirteen fire pictures because it's oh you got an extra one you get January twenty twenty three. I just, don't. In case, okay. just in case you don't have time. And it's funny because like a lot of my supporters were like, oh, we didn't get the new one yet, but we're about to get it because January is almost done. So the, their old calendar is almost up. Yeah. So they're ordering the new one now. Ah. So yeah, I sold out of the calendars. I hit my distributor today and I'm like, what's up with the reorder? Like, can I get a deal? He's like, <laughs> the same up. price. I'm like, fuck you. But <laughs> you know, um, I think I'm going to get some more because I feel like we're only midway through January and people will buy the calendars all throughout the year. Because that's it's, it's that's like, impressive that you're selling calendars in 2021. Thank like, you. Because yeah. I remember growing up, everybody would get like calendars hanging up and you would live and die by that calendar. Right. Follow like, the wait, schedule. Hold on, let me get home and check my calendar. Now, now we got everything in the, in the phone. But also, I autograph each and every one. I mm. personally autograph it. And I think that's something too, because you know, someone who's a real fan of you, they want your autograph. So it's like, you're getting an autograph and a calendar for a very reasonable rate. And 13, you know how you saying? doing? And 13, 13 how, you, how do- you doing? Listen, guys, if you didn't get it yet, you got to go get a calendar. You got to grab it. Come grab on. you a little calendar. Stop playing go games. Go scoop one up. But li- I'll tell you one thing that I love about your music videos for anybody who hasn't listened to one to one of your songs or watched one of your videos. Yes. Your visuals are extremely creative. Thank you. Like the song Only Fans yeah. is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> I remember one. just building up to you releasing this song. I'm like... This girl really got one fans. Yes. Like, she's about to go. <laughs> <"Hey."> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> and then when, you, then when you drop, it was a music video. I'm like, this is genius. Because in, in the video, like you're showing like an OnlyFans lifestyle. Type so, of vibe, yeah. Yeah. And then the song Strawberry. Strawberry yeah, soda. Strawberry yeah, soda. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that, that was another one. That was you got a little video. strawberry soda. A little oh, strawberry t- soda. <laughs> um, no, I definitely, I feel like visuals are everything, especially this day and age where it's like, you know, people's attention spans are very short. So it's right. like when you have that good visual to mm-hmm. grab people mm-hmm. in and then keep them there, that's everything. So when I had the OnlyFans idea, it was funny because at that time, OnlyFans was hot off the press. You know, we were in quarantine. And anytime I would post a picture and many females, people would be like, yo, drop the OF, drop the OF. So I was like, <laughs> drop the OF. I was like, all right, yeah, I'm going to drop the OF. <laughs> so the night when I finally dropped it, I said, um... 
uh, finally, OnlyFans link in bio. When I, I tell remember, you, I remember people that. I remember ran that. <laughs> that video up. How many views? I mean, honestly, there. it hit a million within like a few yeah, right days. Away. Which for yeah, a video on bananas. YouTube, that's, that's a lot. Good. That's good. Yeah. Bananas. Yeah. We're, we're out here with 15k. Like, yes. Well, yeah. It's not like like Instagram and TikTok. You could get those millions of views because it's quick. It's right on the phone. But like yeah, YouTube, yeah. they actually have to go to the site and then you know watch the video. So yeah, that got ran up super quick. And then I saw. Like after I did that, I saw a lot of females using that um that, that, kind of, that marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like OnlyFans. Like, was I genius, wasn't mad though. at them. I'm like, shoot, you gotta, you know, cool, I gotta, whatever. I gotta ask you. I gotta ask you. you. Gotta be honest. Yeah. Were there any people that were disappointed? It wasn't really OnlyFans. Oh my god! <laughs> so many people on the video were like, "Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so disappointed. She doesn't have OnlyFans, but this video is fire. fire. Yeah, they they. Uh, I would say like. 95% of the people that really wanted to see the OnlyFans yeah. stayed for it and loved it. Of course, you had them 5% of just the straight. Those horn They were this like, yo, you, you doing? bitch. <laughs> I you feel attacked. Us? Yeah, literally. They were like, you know, that they were like really mad. Like, you lying bitch. I was like, oh, this is exactly the type of guy I was talking about in the video. But um, yeah, I love doing like themed videos, thematic stuff like that. I had um, an album out like three years ago, I dropped called Feminine, mm -hmm. where I like remixed all of mm -hmm. Eminem's classics. And my fans really loved that too. Mm -hmm. Obviously had a strong theme of mm -hmm. remixing like Eminem's greats. And then even with all my, all my original stuff that I do, like you said, strawberry soda, I always love it to tell a story, have mm -hmm. something more to it than like just visuals. Like I don't just want to be like, Throwing money and having bitches shaking mm -hmm. their Anybody I mean, could I do mean, that. I mean, we, we, get, we that. get to that in some right, videos. Right. A little something. But, um, yeah, like you said, like, that just can't be every mm -hmm. video. And I would, to me, that would be so boring. Like, as mm -hmm. one of my supporters, like, I can't even... If that's what every video is about, it's like, what's going to keep you coming back? Yeah. The same thing every time. So yeah. I definitely like to get creative with the videos. And we got a great team of creatives who work on the videos um, and they're amazing, and all of them are going to be on the new movie. So you got a bunch of a bunch of records. You spent bars like I saw a couple records with Chris Webby too. Yeah, shout like, out to Webby. That's he's, my he's, boy. He's, he's I the love homie too. My brother, yeah, yeah. yeah. Webby's great. So you, you're like versatile. You could do the singing. You could do the singing spitting. Rapping. You could do freestyle, like yeah. acting, comedy. Gotta switch it. And like tap dance. <laughs> okay. Little okay. Right We're gonna get to that at the end. Oh, yeah. I definitely have a TikTok for us. Dancing. Right. You think growing so? Up Italian, right, TikTok style. Yeah. <laughs> This is the Growing Up a Time podcast, and what we do is we're going to ask you a couple uh, couple of questions, okay. and you're going to answer it right off the top of your head. You're going to blindfold me and ask me. Well, like, well, we're going to do that later. Kinds of cheese, we're going to do that later. Of, like, is it That's all we, we might, yeah. We're going to do that later, too. Okay. But overrated, underrated, perfectly rated. Okay. Sausage and peppers. Perfectly rated. Why? Because, I mean, it's a nice uh, sausage and pepper. It tastes delicious. Uh, I think people generally love sausage and pepper, so mm -hmm. I would say it's not um, it's not underrated, and I don't think it's overrated, because uh, who doesn't like a nice piece of sausage? I don't. No, I don't. You need the bread for it, though? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, sorry, Rock, sorry. It all depends what's going on. If I have a shoot, I'm trying to, like, I'm, you know, I don't want to die of a carbicide, <laughs> but if I don't have a shoot, bring on the bread. If you're in ketosis, yeah, no bread. Yeah, it, it, it all depends. If I'm doing my, my keto guido, then, you know, I just I just stick to the meat. Okay. What about Big ZD? Big ZD, I'm going to say, is overrated. And mm. I like Big ZD, don't get me wrong, but it's very heavy. So what? No fucking ZD? That's a heavy fucking... Like, what What? What? are we, what are we having? Like, um, what's it called? The the night before um, when you, you know, you got a game or something, like a... Fat Tuesday? Food? Yeah, like a spaghetti there, whatever it's called. Yeah. When you have to have the carbs the night before. It's yeah, like, Fat Tuesday. Yeah, like it's like that. Lent, right? Yeah, that's like when you, you're going to war the next day, you need a heavy <laughs> plate, you know, but just to have baked ziti, like for lunch or dinner, it's going to make you tired, it's going to weigh you down, and I stay in the move, so I'm going to have to say baked ziti. So that's like once me. a year for you? No, I mean, don't get me wrong. I dibble and dabble with the ZD, but it's just, it's <laughs> not something. How you doing, sir? Yeah, little, little how you doing? But if I'm having a big ZD, it's got to be like a small portion. Let's not get crazy. All right. You know, I can't be sluggish. And look at how tight my outfits are. <laughs> this is not forgiven. Big ZD. You're going to see all the layers through my, uh, I'm going to have but, as many layers. What about, as about rice, uh, what about rice balls? Rice balls, overrated. 
Yeah? yeah. That was an easy one for you. Yeah. Why? Because I just feel like it's, it's... You're Sicilian. You should be saying... Here's the thing. I'm Sicilian, but I also, uh, you know, the, the, the body matters. So I got to uh-huh. think about what I, what I put in this car and to get this <laughs> engine going. For, like, for me, a rice bowl is just, like, a lot of carb, and it's like, what's the payoff? Like, if I just want to eat straight carbs, you know, then give me some pizza or give me, like, a nice piece of Italian bread to, to dip in the, the oil and all that. Oh, you like, like the scarpetta. Yeah, uh-huh. just, like, a rice bowl to me is, Whoop. like... Eh. I'm, I'm going to say overrated. Yeah, wow. so what like rice can do, bread can do for you? That's what I'm saying. All right, exactly. I respect that. She's, a, bre- she's have, a bread girl. Yeah, I'd rather have the bread than the rice. All right, so now we're going to transition to movies. Okay. Overrated, underrated, or perfectly rated? Okay. The Godfather series. I'm going to say, so I would like to say perfectly rated because I feel like the Godfather series is just so revered across like mm-hmm. every culture. But I'm going to say underrated because I feel like it should be revered even more. Like Ooh. I feel like it needs to be in the holy grail of the best movies, the best, you know, just piece of work that's ever been put out there. You know what I mean? And yeah. we got to talk to whoever like ranks the best movies ever and just make them that, middle That's top two, not two? Um... Or it's in, like you said, it's in the Holy Grail, so that's locked in. Top it might five. be, it might be top two and not two. Yeah, yeah that's uh, so. You know, I would say perfectly rated, but for whoever like doesn't have that in at least like their top ten, top five, no matter what their culture is, I'm gonna say underrated because I want to bump it up even more. I, yeah. I wholeheartedly agree with you. Yeah. All right, next up, Rocky. Again, as a series. Ooh, um, another great series, man. I've used Rocky's name in so many freestyles, just like I'm, I'm in the ring like Rocky. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Rocky is probably perfectly rated. I feel like it's mm. very revered. I feel like it's, you know, it's it stood the test of time. People love Rocky. He gets, he gets mentioned a lot. We refer to him, you know, whenever we want to talk about being tough. And, you know, so I'm going to say, he's, I'm going to say the, the Rocky series, perfectly rated. Or do, or do you have a special affinity to the Rocky series, Rock? Or? Uh, I mean, I yeah, should. Yeah, I should, right? He's extra, he's extra Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> I wish there was the Italian stallion. Maybe, uh-huh. maybe in my next life. Yeah, they, I mean, uh, still time. Yeah, but we Stallone killed... Stallone... The gym. <laughs> <laughs> I do A little I do uh, No, but no, Stallone, killed, Stallone killed that role, he though. He did, man. Oh, God. So good. Adrian! Yeah. yeah. It, 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 honestly, like, watching that makes you want to box. It's like, I'm ready yeah. to get in the ring and fuck someone. I thought he was a real... <laughs> Either I thought way, he was I'm a real like, fighter. When people, like, when I was growing up, I was like, Rocky's the greatest fighter ever. Every time I was like, Rock Marciano, he, I was talking about him. You know what? He must have, I feel like when you do roles like that, like, you really do have to train and learn. Yeah, that. Yeah. Even, like, um, Bruised. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah bruised. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, she yeah. went crazy on that. And it's like, I feel like when you're playing a role like that, you really have to learn how to do it. And I've always said, there's a couple roles in movies that I would love to play. Mm-hmm. And outside of my own movie, I have a couple other movies I'm doing this year that, you know, I'm excited for. But I've always said, I would love to play a boxer because I just feel like, you know, I could get in that ring. And I, just I can see real, you doing that. Yeah. Like, Badass. Just look real. Makers. Like, you, like am, uh, I, am I, I, got, am I, I got, do I like girls? Am I going to take a girl? Like, you just, <laughs> I could really look mean, you know? Yeah. Also, I'd love to play, I think I could play like a really good um, stripper. I worked in a lot of strip clubs. Bartender, but if the price was right, I'd jump on the Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Make it rain. Right. Right. <laughs> but yeah, so that, um, I think I could play like a good, like, uh, just person like strung out on drugs. How crazy would the bag have to be for you to dye your hair? Oh, I have, like if you had a trademark, I feel like it's trademark by now. Yeah, like, well, I have a movie that I'm doing this year that I can't have red hair for. Wow! But I'm gonna put on a wig. The <laughs> oh, you're gonna put away. Oh, yeah. No, but let's say if there was a role where, um, you know, because you could get a really good wig that's very versatile that you could, you know, like where? put some hair up, some hair down. Like can I you tell now. me? Can you tell me where? Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah. There's definitely some good sites. I'll, yeah? I'll send you some. <laughs> okay. We got. We got to get you a little. Uh, a little photo, but I, I like you with the and it's nice. It's nice and soft. Ladies. I got a. I got. Sorry, I don't know if you're little... married. If he's married, his, his wife will play. It's nice and soft. <laughs> soft like a baby's ass. But um. Yeah, you could get really versatile wigs. So I'm gonna get a wig for what I have to do because it's like in the middle of like other shit I'm shooting but let's say if someone had a came to me with a crazy role and was like um I don't know I gotta shave half of my head and die the other. I mean yeah I'm I'm with the shits it's just hair it'll grow, it'll back. grow back I mean maybe not, not for in me. your case <laughs> not for you know, me for most people it'll grow back <laughs> <laughs> I got one more one more segment for us and then uh we're gonna eat some food wow this has been fun this did you guys bring any brisket no I should've got asked, you should ask me my favorite type of meat 
So now she told me she she said oh, she said you love the strambolis, the oh, yeah. the penne alla vodka. Oh yeah. Okay, this or that. Okay. Gandolfini, Gandolfini. or Pesci. Uh, I still gotta go get in I love Pesci, but get I didn't care. You could have said anybody. You could have said yeah, Resident, but you could have said anybody after that. Yeah, huh? yeah. I think he's honestly the best actor of all time. And gone and way too least, soon too. Oh, I mean, you just. It's funny because I've went back and and watched even over the quarantine like um, Sopranos again just to get tips from his acting. I yeah. mean, the way he holds his face, his expression. Nah, he was his, amazing. It's just like it's it's out of this world. Yeah. Sinatra, Sinatra. Or, <laughs> she's she's gonna gonna option too. Yeah, but mean, Sinatra I'm, is I'm gonna, now I'm gonna say the second one first for the next. Yeah, one. what's it? What, what was it? Who was that? Martin. One? Yeah, I knew it was gonna be the yeah, one. Yeah, Sinatra. Okay. I mean, love. Dean. I thought these I would be a little Dean. harder. Dean is clean, but yeah. Bronx Tale. I'm not gonna say that. All right. Well, well I gotta or, see what's or, next. I love Bronx, Bronx Tale. Tale. Or, only go, or Goodfellas. Ah, dang, that's hard. That's a good one. Shit. Um. That's really hard, but I think <laughs> I'm going to go with, with the Bronx Tale. Yeah. You only get three great ones. You only get three great ones, mm. so I'm going to open up the, the door when you come Sonny around. Sonny had fi- five fingers. We only used three. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, so. that, that one was really, that one was hard. Yeah. All right. Mm. Listen. I'm going to give you a this or that. All right, go ahead. Naples or Sicily? Naples. That's I've never been from. to Sicily. Never. I've been to Sicily. I had a gumad there. You know? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Edit that out before his wife sees it. <laughs> now I'm not married. Um, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, no, but, uh, yeah, give us one. Give us all one. I got you. Um, pizza or garlic knots? That was the easy one. Come on. Pizza. What are you, dumb? Come on. Um, Put you on the spot. I'll you give think, you one. You I'll think you garlic bread's Italian food? Um, I think it's if it's prepared by the right person. You know, if you get a nice yeah. loaf of Italian bread. Because you know there's like angry Italians that like... Oh, that, that, that. And they say it's not real food. I mean, well, not, not real Italian. It's not food. authentic. I mean, but we'll, it's prepared a little different. I would say. Maybe. Oh, then maybe then how they prepare it in Italy? Yeah, because like garlic bread here is like you know thrown under. Well, I mean, you so, could. You, I guess you could say that about anything. You say that about pizza, whatever. But Italy had some of the best food and coffee. I only have one addiction, and it's coffee. And the coffee in Italy was. I was just like. A little just, espresso. Just, just put an IV into me. Just, <laughs> just keep it going. Day. Yeah, the food was just. Um, Where did you go in Italy? I went to uh, Firenze. Oh, Firenze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Northern and um, I was out there for like a week, and um, I need to go back ASAP. So we gotta maybe, go to Rome. Maybe, maybe when you go, we'll go. Yeah, April. Maybe when you go we see your April. boy. Yeah, we out. Maybe yeah. we're I don't coming know. for you, Italy. Let, let Italy me let me hit just you know, one more, one more. I'm scared. Yeah. All right. So we're talking like gun to your head. You yeah. have to eat one. All right, mm-hmm. we going. Leave pine- the gun. Take the cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> no cannoli. No cannoli available. <laughs> you got to choose between pineapple pizza or fettuccine Alfredo. Which one? Which one are you taking a bite of? Uh, I'm going with fettuccine Alfredo. You like it? Yeah, I love fettuccine. Ah, but that's okay, a, okay. that's another one of those ones. Like that's another thing. Like when, when we said big Z. Like if I'm going for all those carbs, like give me the fettuccine Alfredo. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, Have you ever ate pineapple on pizza? Yeah, of course. I've Did eaten, you like it? I like p- pineapple. I've eaten but pineapple. so you like pineapple pizza? I never had it. You know what? I don't dislike it. I've eaten it, and it's not bad. Like um, the Hawaiian pizza's got the, the, the pineapple ham. on the ham. Mm-hmm. It's not bad, but pizza is so good on its own. And as much as I love pineapple, it just it doesn't need the pineapple. Right. So for me, I'm never going to order a piece of pizza with pineapple. If someone has pizza at the crib and there's pineapple on it, I'm going to... You know, gonna eat it. I'm going to scarf it down, but I don't think pizza needs pineapple. Gotcha. It's just like, it's like, does the Mona Lisa need another splash of paint? She doesn't. <laughs> she's good. Or, yeah, she's she's good at Maybe it. Maybe she needs a little BBL, though. You know, you she know, might need a little bump BBL. Bump, bump it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, bump, bump, bump it up. <laughs> Speaking of BBLs, uh, that stands for bolognese. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> bolognese lasagna. No. <laughs> Literally. Listen, yeah. if you don't know Justina, now you do. Make sure to check her out on social media, Justina Valentine. Dig in the catalog. Yes. She's a sweetheart. I had so much fun with you guys. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank for, you so much for your yeah, time. Thanks for stopping Honestly, by. all you guys do for the culture, it's amazing. So, you know, keep the page going. Growing up Italian for all of us Italians to laugh about how we got hit with the wooden spoon and mm-hmm. everything else that you guys talk about the page. I always see it and I'm like, I love it. I love what you guys do. Thank you so, so much. Likewise. The invitation likewise. for the movie, don't forget. Yeah, we'll be there. And we got to have a big pasta. We got the direct contact right there. Period. We got to have a big pasta party uh, when, when the movie premieres. So appreciate you guys having me. As long as none is cooking. Ciao for now. <laughs>